Hey, what's up, YouTube? I am Kerry Matsushima, and we're gonna play The Sims today. So, as you know, The Sims 4 came out with a new expansion pack, which has been the new hype that has been happening inside of the Sims community. And I did get the expansion pack, and I am super excited to finally be able to open it up and play around with it. Uh, this video will be a uh, probably a length of different videos in different parts just because um, the sims when we're creating sims and playing the game it just usually takes a while so sit back relax enjoy playing some sims with me and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of this type of content but let's get started so sims 4 I'm going to just continue what I had on my previous game. Um, I am currently in Willow Creek, but we are going to be heading to the new expansion pack area, which is Henford on Bagley. So, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so if you notice, there is obviously a more residential, not residential, but like a town situation area called Finchwick. And, oh, okay, got some, uh, you know, different housings that are directly inside of town. Let's see, we have the Watson family. Interesting. And yes, now with the new Sims 4 um, pack, basically you have now lot traits that add challenges and things like that to your lot. Oh, a new start. Interesting. Okay. So I am going to be creating a new character today. I'm just kind of taking a look at the map here and uh, seeing what it has to offer. Oh, fast internet. Okay, wow. Okay. Might consider that one. Hmm. Moody and McMillan. Okay. We have Cordelia's secret cottage all the way far up, very far away from the town here. And the Isle of Volpe Park. And then, of course, the Bramblewood up there. Um, I am going to be taking, hopefully, either this lot or one of the other empty lots. And I will be creating my own house for my own character. So... You know, that's just what I intend to do for this particular series for The Sims 4. But first things first, let's, after, you know, reviewing Henford on Bagley here, let's go into character creation and I'm going to be making my character. So. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with a girl here. And let's see. Uh, usually it's very hard for me to come up with names right off the spot, but let's we could always do a random name as well. Oh, try to pick something that I like. Oh, that sounds interesting. Oh, I kind of maybe came up with something. Okay, and maybe not Shelly. Yeah, let's keep it at Joe. Joe sounds nice. Very strong farmer-ish name, I guess. <laughs> okay. And no, she's not going to be a teenager. I'm going to keep her currently at a young adult. And of course, we have all the different voice options here. Massive plants are papa. Lagar as you whip. Ruskin. <laughs> Those already sound like men. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> this is the fun part, obviously, playing with voices. Okay, mm, that wasn't that bad. Oh, it's a little too high pitched for me. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with this lifted voice. 
Visited Sarvava. Holy Nine Mokosa. Yeah, that sounds good. And let's choose her walk. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh man, these walks are great. Um, I'll keep her at the swagger walk. And of course we have to select an aspiration. Now they did give us a new aspiration for this uh, new Sims pack that was installed here. And I realize I'm going to actually move up my screen a little bit. Sorry about that. Sorry about the adjustment, but... Um, I am going to be going for the uh, the ones that were a part of this track, this new pack here. Let's see, country caretaker. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, ooh is right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna think I'm gonna stick with the the nature theme here. So do the country caretaker with that. I don't know what it means for being a collector, but okay. Uh, likes and dislikes. Obviously color. Well, gotta be a... Oh, whoops. Ooh. Wrong one. Okay, let's pick those. And I guess, you know, music <laughs> can be oh. definitely... Uh, since she's young. Maybe some hip-hop and classical oh, music. Strange music. <laughs> oh boy, she's so she's so entertaining already. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna just put that already because she's so in love with it. Okay, hobbies and skills. We definitely need some gardening inside of there. Um, I would like to get her cooking up because if not, I don't want her to die from being a poor chef. <sighs> and what to do with all of that time? Well, obviously oh. baking. Definitely gonna be fishing a lot. And also Is probably like doing some writing. Oh. I don't think we can do violin just yet. But Out, we'll see. Alright, so I think those are pretty good for her hobbies and skills. And then let's now pick her traits. So, hmm, where are the ones that are specific to this pack? So... Pretty sure these one. This is one of the ones that is particular to this pack for the new update. Vegetarian might be another one, but that's a little hard to do. I think. Hmm. This is kind of hard to pick from. Well, I'm definitely gonna pick animal enthusiast because I know she's gonna be raising some animals for sure. Ah. <sighs> And yeah, definitely Green Fiend. Oh, yep. Got those plants going right away. Hmm. We finally get one more. We should probably pick another trait that is uh, on the more interesting side. <laughs> I should say. Just to make it more interesting and more fun while playing the game, of course. So, hmm. Hate children, evil, an evil farmer. <sighs> Let's see. You know what? Let's make her erratic. Kind of a kind of crazy farmer at that. Okay, continuing with the character creation, we're gonna definitely fix up her looks, her outfit. Love the tattoo on that side, but let's see if there's other tattoos that are there for her. For sure. Oh. Nope. <laughs> I'm clicking on the wrong things here. There we go. Okay. So, hair. Hairstyle. Now, if she's a farmer. Let's see. We'll go to our content, our packs that we have here. Let's go just for the cottage living pack. Okay. So, I really like some of their hairstyles already inside of this cottage living pack. I think they're pretty cute. Pretty awesome here. Oh man, like look at that. Look at that braid there. They did put a lot of good detail inside of this new content pack here. 
There are still, of course, a few bugs and everything like that that they still need to fix, of course, but generally, overall, like this, this, that doesn't look very good. <laughs> they need to fix that kind of stuff. But again, generally, overall, I usually like most of the things that they put inside of there. I'm considering that as an option for her hair. Because my hair is just as unruly as that, so... <laughs> Um, even though I would bet this is definitely maybe more looks more like me, but I don't necessarily want Joe to be like me. So Okay, so yeah, I actually might consider this as part of her hair. She'll get her hair up and out of the way out of her face Huh Definitely love the hair colors too Red should I go for red? Is that like typical farmer? <laughs> I like the color red, guys. Sorry. <laughs> That's just me. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna make her a very bright redhead. So I just usually like to double check the outfits, make sure that her hair is for the same for everything. Okay. And then let's also look at her face. So skin tones. I would think she'd have a more warm skin tone because she's, you know, gonna be out and about in the sun more for sure. Mmm, kinda like that one. That might have been what I already had before. Or maybe the one next to it. Yeah, I kinda like that. Okay. And definitely going to be looking at faces here. I know people like to adjust the face and make it their own and things like that, but I usually just struggle so much with with that aspect of the game. Um, so I usually do a, like a preset face first, and then kind of take it from there. <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. Yeah, so I mean, certain things that I like about faces. see especially like the shape of the eyes and things like that and the general head shape of the characters I know of course again this can all be adjusted but I usually like just to start like to just start with a base and then get it going from there so I kind of like that um, her skin tone did change so we just gotta you know change it back okay there we go any other skin details um I I want to give her freckles yeah, why not? Let's give her some freckles. Because I don't have any freckles. And then, uh, oh my goodness. Wow. I didn't know that they had those kinds of teeth inside of the game. Oh, okay. Interesting. We could do some buck teeth too. Yeah, why not? Let's do that for her. I think that'll make her, like, super unique in that sense. Uh, no hats. Any other accessories? Um for this particular pack for cottage living oh yeah look at that oh some llama earrings oh girl or some of these earrings now hmm let's maybe go with some strawberry earrings here just because she has that bright red hair if you know what I mean and yeah, we can definitely change them to contrast her hair there. Something that's a little bit more brighter and, you know, stands out a little bit more. Mm. So those are like more the red strawberry types. I kind of like that. Kind of like those over there. Should we add on some glasses to her too? Make her a little bit bohemian looking. Mm. It's because I particularly wear glasses and it does change the way a character looks for sure oh look at that how about some rosy glasses definitely a rosy girl that we got going on over here yeah totally love it love it love it love it that's the nice thing that i finally get to enjoy playing this this game because <laughs> i've waited for so long to finally get my setup right to record this um and be able to play so <laughs> I still am working out, of course, a few of the kinks here and there, but 
you know, it's it's a work in progress. We got it going. Oh yes, and of course they partnered with Mac. That's the one thing about the glasses. You can't really see some of the makeup that is on top of her face. Hmm. So I might try to stick with one of the MAC palettes. Just because I haven't used any of them before. Oh. <laughs> I haven't used any of them in particular before. Um, on, a, on any of my other characters. Because, you know, I don't particularly pay attention to all of the different types of content that go into The Sims 4, but I know I had to play it and record it for the first time when this new content pack came out because I was super excited for this pack. And let's see... Oh boy, going into a lot of different things. I just am gonna stick with the eyes though. I kind of liked... kind of like this darker one here. And yeah, see, this is already getting to be like a little difficult for me because I don't play with makeup that much. I usually, like in my own daily personal life, I do a lot of just like natural, natural looks for myself. <laughs> and so this, this is, this is a little bit hard. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. <laughs> I try my best. I try my best. Okay, again, I, I, I'm gonna just leave her more, more natural for that. <laughs> um, eyeliner for sure. Do I love eyeliner? Yes, I love eyeliner. Um, will she look good in eyeliner? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, that's typically what I do on myself, but she's not. She's definitely not me, so we could definitely give her a little something. A little something something, if you know what I mean. Oh boy, that's a little, uh, that's a little extreme. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Let's maybe keep what she has and just do some, some black eyeliner on the side. That looks nice, I think. Um, get her cheeks a little glowed up with some blush here. It's a little too glowy for my taste. Yeah, I kind of like that color. Gotta get them lips on too. And I usually like to go for nude or darker types of lips. It's really hard to find her nude color though. This dark one actually kind of looked a little nice. But I wanted to see maybe one of these. Just because I like... I like usually a darker lip on top of some of my characters. I just think it makes them stand out more. Especially when they're talking and they're super expressive in The Sims. It just, you know, makes them pop a little bit. Hmm. Kind of like this one because it kind of has a red undertone to it. And any face paint? No, maybe no face paint today for our character. But I'm going to put those glasses back on her. Those rosy glasses that we had. And awesome. I think her face is done. Looks great. Love it. Love her uh, hairstyle as well. So. Let's go into her body here. And... Hmm, should I make her super muscular for being a farmer? Uh, maybe not. Maybe we'll put her in the middle. And usually I like to make my characters a little bit more on the hefty side. <laughs> just It just makes them look a little bit nicer, if you know what I mean. And, hmm. They do already have some styled looks. Oops. Not bad. And let's check out what is from the packs here as far as, far as styled looks go. I keep clicking out of that. Countryside Posh. Let's see, let's just try it. Uh -huh. Oh boy. <laughs> Interesting. Likes like the cherries, huh? Oh boy. Huh. Now I do realize I have to put back all of her makeup and stuff on now. <laughs> oh that's right. That'll be quick. That's kinda cute. I kinda like that. Interesting. 
I'm not sure if that gives off a farmer vibe, to be honest. But I'm gonna quickly go back and fix her face and the other things that happened from uh, trying on these different styles. And then we'll be back to uh, actually create her outfits and, and things like that. So let me take care of that real quick. <sighs> All right. And we're back. <laughs> so we got her face back to what it was. And I am going to go through and do all of her outfits here for Joe. And let's just see. I want to take a look at uh, all the different blouses and things like that. And I definitely need to remember to keep putting that on. Lest I forget. So let's look at blouses first. Oh, super cute. Love it. What I'm going to really do really quick is just uh, take all of these off because to me, those are quite distracting to have those on when I'm looking at different types of clothes. So I personally just usually like to keep them off of her. Oh, and before I forget, actually, let's try to uh, change this tattoo, if you know what I mean. I do like it because it is the like Asian inspired, but I don't think it's something that she would necessarily have. Hmm. I kind of like the tribal. Tribal look is kind of nice, even though that is not from this content pack. But you know, I live in Hawaii, so. Gotta pay a little bit of homage to where I live. You know what I mean? Um, oh, that just overlaps. That that clashes a little bit. Uh, let's see. The birds. Oh, she's an animal lover, right? Oh, I realize that heart is still on top of her arm over there. So... I personally love tattoos. I think they just add to the body. Yeah, we can do something more like that. Totally just upper body vibes. Maybe nothing for the legs just yet. Yeah, I think that looks nice for her. Now let's go back to the tops real quick. So as far as blouses go, these are the only blouses that they have available. Jackets. So oh, it's a little bit too hot, I feel like, to wear a jacket. Especially if she's going to be out working around... They do have some sweaters too, which I think are actually really cute, but again, it's a little bit too hot to be working as a farmer and taking care of animals, I feel like. Tank tops, eh, it's alright. No buttons up, no sweatshirts, no suit jackets or polos. Okay, they do have a couple vest options here. Which do look kind of nice like that. And her tattoos could be a little bit of a surprise. Huh. I do kind of like that. The pinned up look. But. I do like how some of these blouse tops do uh, show a bit of her tattoos on the side there. Oh, and some of these patterns are super cute. My goodness. Again, I love the red, but you know, that's just me. I'm a big, big red fan. But we don't always have to go with red. It's good to always have a change of pace. And we could definitely do something that's more like opposite of to what her hair color is, just to make it stand out more, of course, right? But let's see. I'm kind of feeling this top for her just because it's like super cute. Not necessarily the black, but the only thing is that it is a lot of print that's happening on top of her in particular. So, hmm. It's possible, of course, to try other things. See how some of those things look on top of her as well. Definitely country girl vibes. I feel like. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. I feel like this is the same top. Yeah, 
That's the same top. Hmm. So I kind of like this green. It's just there are, there are a lot of patterns on top of it, if you know what I mean. And I realize that her boobs can be adjusted. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. So, let's give her a little something. Not like a lot of boobage. I feel like they would, that would kind of get in the way if she has just like a lot. You know, and she has to help do things like that around the farm. Hmm. Kind of like that light green color. But yeah, let's just keep that. And then let's, uh, uh, there are actually some full body options, which we could possibly do as well. You never know, I might like that more. Got some overalls here. Hmm. Not really the style I was quite looking for, though. And oh boy, we got like definitely some country dresses going on over here in particular. Hmm. Not something that I was too interested in looking at for giving her a dress. That's actually kind of cute. I kind of like that. Are there what other colors are there? Oh. Oh. Okay. And we definitely have some options to play with. I mean, this this content content pack does have a lot of neat stuff with it. I know again, people, you know, they they wanted something a little bit more out of this particular content pack, but I just think that this is like like this is the Sims. They, you know, they they thrive more on like the creation and the clothing building and stuff like that. Um, I kind of like these particular overall things, even though it does hide most of her tattoos. I'm going to keep this one in mind as a possible choice. Uh, I'm going to take her back to the blouse that she was wearing earlier though. Just because I like to see some different options that I like to play with. As far as, you know, what she possibly could wear. Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. Alright. Oh, I always have a bad habit of doing that. Okay, we got a mini skirt over there. Some shorts, high-waisted shorts. Long pants there. Oh, she's barefoot. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. No worries. Oh, nice. Some ankle cutoffs. Hmm. Kind of like that low riser style type there. Definitely matches her hair. We could go with the all green look too, though. <sighs> Man, it's just so nice to be able to explore and create new types of characters inside of the game. Oh, it's just... It's fun. It's fun to experience different things. Hmm. So as far as pants goes... I mean, those are mainly the only pants that I see, really. I don't know what happened to the other pants from earlier. So those are really the only options that we have. It's a little too green for me. That could be a possible option as well. And we have accessories and of course we have shoes. I actually am kind of thinking of doing that full body outfit though. If I can remember which one it is. <laughs> we also have that, which I think is super cute because it got the little fox on it. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, you know what? I might actually pick this because I just love that there's a fox on it. Sorry guys, I love foxes. It's, 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 yeah, it's getting to me. And you know what? I'm going to go for that dark green. I think that looks nice. Nice. All right. So we got her everyday outfit. And then as far as accessories go, did they give anything inside of the new pack? They did. Okay, so what did we get here? We got kind of like a... Let me 
that? Like a wristlet of flowers here? Or just some straight up gardener's gloves? And oh, we got some uh, thigh high leggings. <laughs> Well, I don't know about the gloves. I'm not a not a big fan of wearing gloves on top of your hands inside of the game in particular. I mean, the the colors honestly are not too bad. But I mean, that's the thing. I don't think they always generally wear gloves out in public all the time. So, maybe let's give her the arm accessory, the wristlet here. Just change up the color to kind of match her outfit or to give her a little bit of pop. I think I'm gonna stick with the orange. And then let's also let her keep the thigh high leggings. I think they just make make the character so hmm kinda like these browns. So let's try stick with these browns here. Unfortunately, there are no rings, which I personally just like rings. I know it's hard to see inside of the actual game, but I just, I like rings. <laughs> okay, we do have some shoes, of course, some new shoes. Oh, girl's gotta have her shoes, right? Now, I don't know about you, and I don't know about any farmer, but I like these. These look nice. Hmm. And yeah, some of the other stu sh shoe styles are not necessarily my particular style that I like. I do like the boots, to be honest. So either between the boots or these shoes here, I'm kind of leaning more towards these. But we'll see what colors we have for the boots here. So maybe we could get something that matches her style. I actually kind of like these yellow ones. They really pop. You know, that mustard yellow color. I like that, that color too. Huh. Okay, we got a couple options here. That kind of matches her shirt color. You know what? We'll go full farmer. Well, let's do it. She's got to be a country girl, right? She can be a little stylish, of course. But definitely a country girl for sure. Alright. We got her everyday outfit. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to move more into some of the other outfits. So this is the formal wear. Um, I'm just probably going to stick with a dress for her formal wear. Just because it's probably the easiest thing to just throw on and throw off. Um, hmm. I know there's been a lot of people who've been playing this game that's chosen this cherry style dress. So I want to maybe pick something that is not the popular favorites. You know what? I really like that red. So <laughs> we're going to stick with that one. Why not? Any other items that she could possibly wear? I don't think so. I don't see anything in particular in the content pack. So that's all right. She she can just be a uh, you know how how it go how you know how it is. Uh, I am gonna give her glasses and stuff back though because yeah I feel like she should have that. <laughs> okay, and I know we'll take out the formal, and well, we can also look at some uh, earring choices here for her. Let's see. So maybe this is where we can have her have some uh, flowery sunshine with the dress. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think that looks cute. That looks that looks nice. And also, let's just put everything on. Why not? <laughs> Why not put some pearls with it? Pearls pearls make everything look nicer, to be honest. Fancy, fancy. Okay, feet. 
formal foot attire. Okay, maybe this is where we can uh, wear the shoes that we are originally planning to wear. Let's give her a little bit of a different color. Uh, I don't just want traditional black, that's why. I kind of like this color. Gives it a nice pop. Makes her stand out a little bit. I totally forgot about her uh, wristlet that she generally wears. So let's put that on and change the color to that orange one. Awesome. So now we got her formal outfit completely done and ready. So she can go to any wedding or any party and look amazing. Let's go into her athletic wear. And let's see. Hmm. So, I mean, there's not of obviously a lot of choices for athletic wear in the actual pack itself for the cottage living. So, we'll just have to take that off for right now. And uh, let's look at some of the athletic wear that we got here. Now, usually when I think of athletic wear, I think of like dark clothing. Because usually you sweat in it. <laughs> and you don't want any of that like showing up on top of your body at all. So, let's see. No, no jeans. I actually think that the one that she's wearing is probably the nicest option. We'll just make her go all black. Let's look at these shoes. Not really the shoes I was going for <laughs> in particular. Uh, let's see. I don't think these are actual running shoes either. They look a little bit big and clunky if you ask me. So let's maybe go for some actual running shoes. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll give her some nice light colors. And man, they keep taking off all her jewelry, I swear. Well, this time, of course, maybe she will not be uh, wearing earrings when she's going running. But I do definitely want to give her some eyewear. So, now she looks like a cool runner, right? Let's uh, match that beautiful, brilliant hair of hers. Looking nice, looking nice. Okay. Now, evening wear, sleeping wear. Hmm. What should she sleep? I think this would be like hot to sleep in. That would be way too hot. You'd be sweating. Just sweating. This one too, but at least, you know, this one's kind of big, kind of off the shoulder. Let's try to give her something cute here. Something that'll match her aesthetic. Yeah, I kind of like that. Uh, where do these glasses come from, though? My goodness. Not going to be wearing glasses when you go to sleep. You're crazy, girl. Wearing glasses going to sleep. Hmm. All right. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, some bottoms from her. Quick little PJs. <laughs> Those look kind of cute for PJs. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, let's see those. Oh, she's rocking the yellow socks. I love it. And maybe we'll give her some uh, kind of like tannish slippers. Yeah, that looks good. Nice. Oh. <laughs> For parties, so not really formal wear, but just party wear in general. I don't know where she got this top from. But let's again try to stick with the uh, cottage living. You know, maybe she might wear that to a party. Why not? You can wear whatever you want to party. Now she has a nose ring. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know that I approved a nose ring, per se. 
Goodness me. <laughs> Goodness me. They just want to totally add a whole bunch of things to her, don't they? <laughs> and, uh, oh, let's, let's, you know, let's do those llama earrings for this particular party. Why not? Throw on some llama earrings there. That looks nice. Nice, big, bold fashion statement there. Um, and I generally kind of like the overall look of uh, what's going on here. Maybe, maybe not that ring, though. What's that doing on top of there? Huh. So yeah, she got a she got a couple of rings on actually. She has this ring on over there, which that one doesn't look that bad. But this this eyeball ring, hmm, <laughs> gotta say, kind of catches me in a bad way. <laughs> I wouldn't want anybody looking at me if you know what I mean. Yeah, so I think that kind of looks nice. Simple. Love the boots. I think it's perfect for a party. Go stomp the yard. Swimwear. Alright, I'm not sure how much swimming she would be doing, you know, being a, a farmer and a gardener and all that kind of jazz, but you never know. Um, hmm, eyeglasses. Oh, I don't know what happened to those. Um, oh boy. <laughs> Just trying out different styles here. I think it looks kind of retro, right? Uh, maybe if we gave her the one that she had earlier. Is that the red one there? Or should we do the pilot glasses here? Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll do the pilot's glasses instead. Looking at her top, that looks kind of country to me. I feel like, you know, maybe she bought it at a farmer's market that hand knits all of those things. Oh, Pride Month right there. Kind of like the white. Let's stick with the white. Let's look at some bottoms here. Mm -hmm. Gotta be matching, of course. Totally matching. And man, she got some more accessories on top of her thing. <laughs> Which is totally fine. I, I wouldn't necessarily swim with rings on. Bracelet! I think the bracelet's okay. Um, any slippers? Okay, not sandals. These are not sandals, guys. Please don't call them sandals. <laughs> They're slippers. Okay, us Hawaiians, we call them slippers. So. Yeah, those are nice. I like, I like those. They have the bigger types of slippers as well on this side. But I'm telling you now, not, not a lot of people wear these. These are like the fancy kind that you have a hard time taking off your feet. So generally men typically wear the thicker strap slippers and you know, girls usually wear the thinner strap ones. I mean, it doesn't have to be that way in particular. I just saying this is what I typically notice. But yeah, I kind of like that. Her all white theme for going to the beach if she ever goes <laughs> maybe she might go swimming in a lake you never know uh, for hot weather hmm i really feel like she should just wear her athletic wear but i mean you know who am i to who am i to judge i guess uh, is there anything for hot weather for this particular pack I mean, that, yeah, that's, I guess, that's already showing what, what it is. But I wouldn't necessarily wear that in hot weather. Just because it's so darn hot. Let's maybe try to go with this. Yeah, she could be a little ri risky, why not? Hmm. I'm not really liking the colors though. It's not really a good uh, color combination. So let's try this. The bow on the front of the t-shirt here. Again, some of these colors, man. Not, not what I'm feeling. Hmm. 
kind of like this design. Yeah, let's do that green one there, designed by a Harris Double Zero Brittany. If you're out there, Brittany, or Harris, I like your design. <laughs> okay. Oh, gotta have them uh, short shorts, if you know what I mean. Especially in this hot weather, you definitely need some short shorts because it is hot. And you know what? I'm just gonna give her some slippers again because it's way too hot to cover your feet. Just saying. Cold weather. Do we get cold weather? In the game? I don't know if I ever played with cold weather actually on inside of the game. Or the weather in general. But this would be nice to actually look at these as options. If you know what I mean? That looks a little bit bulky. I might just stick with the sweater here. Even though the other options do look really nice. So either of these two sweaters look super cute. Oh, I forgot to check. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to check her face. <laughs> oh, they really don't like your glasses, girl. <laughs> All right. And she can go without earrings. Sometimes it's too hot to wear earrings. You know? Okay, cold weather. Boy. Yeah, they just, uh... Don't, don't like, uh, your glasses at all. Apparently, you're supposed to do without your glasses. <laughs> Let's take off those earrings and other things like that. Awesome. Looking good, looking good. I'm um, gonna take off the other accessories and shoes and bottoms for right now. I just want to focus on her top here. And yeah, we got some super cute colors here. Oh my god. Super, super cute. How about this one here? What colors we got for this one? Also very nice. This makes her arms look really long. Oh, and change pattern. Cute. Okay, and then we adjust the planes here. I might be leaning more towards this one just because I I feel like it has more that it plays with like the layers as well. And I like that green. I really did. I also did like this mustard yellow jacket with her as well. Just because that's the kind of like color combination we've been sticking with her, so Eeny meeny miny mo. Who who is right? <laughs> you know, I think I'm gonna stick with uh, the yellow that we had earlier. That'll stick more with her color theme, I feel like. And anything inside of the pack? There probably is. If they had a top, they have they probably have some bottoms, so never mind. I guess not. <laughs> I just uncheck that. My bad. Huh. That's kind of interesting. I mean, you know, she literally would just take her overalls off and just put them on there. A the little mismatched one that she made a sewn herself. You never know, right? Farmers gotta make do what they got. Let's see. Could we possibly change the colors on these, though? Not some bad colors here. Kind of do like the green vibe. Let's see. The other ones that we got here. Huh? Nah. Oh boy. Like that yellow. But is there maybe another? That's a little too bright for me. Oh, that red's kind of nice plays against her head there. <laughs> I was kind of looking for something more poofy though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, puffy. More warmer looking. Not something so thin and skinny. But, maybe, you know, some jeans could do. Okay, there's no crop pants. Mm, this one is a little bit harder to do here. I think I might... 
think I might stick with the... The pants that we might have had earlier if I can find it. If not, these are not a bad choice as well. I like the design on top of there. Hmm, I know. Decisions, right? Am I right? Let's see... It's a little too dark. That's a little too bright. <laughs> kind of like this brown vibe that's happening. Yeah, let's do that. I think that looks pretty nice. Should she wear gloves? Does it get that cold? <laughs> that's the only thing. It's kind of like... You know... These are not real gloves. Just telling you now. Like, the kind of gloves that... I have when taking trips to the mainland are very thick. They're not like that. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna skip on the gloves. If she gets a little frostbitten, that's alright. And yeah, let's definitely go for some boots. Definitely. Let's see, is there any a part of the pack? There is! Okay. That's kinda nice. I mean, that's gonna be over. Which, rain boots, by the way, are pretty nice when, uh, being out in the snow. Just keeps your feet from getting wet. Don't want soggy feet over there. Let's see... Hmm... Don't really like some of the colors, though. That go with her outfits. So we could check this one. Kind of like that, this pop of red kind of color here. Just kind of ties the whole thing in together. And that's it as far as her outfits go. And this is our character, Joe Halstead. And Joe is definitely going to be a country caretaker. And not only that, she's going to definitely be a gardener. She's going to grow her own vegetables and things like that. And yep. That is her. I better make sure to uh, save her household. Awesome. So that way I can continue to use her and play her later on. And in the next part of this Sims 4 video, we will be taking Joe on a journey to the countryside where she will start to earn her living and will create a customized house for her using a lot of the content from the new content pack i want to dig into that and yeah look forward to that next video so make sure to stay updated with what's happening and click that subscribe button or that bell and join my channel, join me on this journey to play through the new content pack for The Sims 4, Cottage Living. I will see you guys later, and aloha!